All right, welcome back in. How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? Everyone's doing good. Hello, hello, hello. All right. Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. J.R. Whitney, welcome in, sir. We are continuing our adventure through Hogwarts Legacy. We began the game um, pretty epic fashion. The game started off pretty epically. Now we are at Hogsmeade. We just did our wand sorting. We built, we customized our own wand. We, although there was kind of a hat sorting, you at the end of the day, you got to choose where you want to, uh, what house you want to go to. So what I'm trying to do is find Tiny Dukes, the old fool. Magic Neep, J. Pippin's po Potions, Hogshead for unsavory characters. So we're going to go here to the scissor icon because that's where you can reconfigure your character again just in case you felt rushed during the initial... the initial setup for your appearance, you can come here and redo it again. Tara actually got home and she told me that I didn't, she didn't like the fact that I changed the head of the character. She liked the, uh, what I, what the game originally chose me, for me. Hello. Oh, come in, come in. Welcome to Madame Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly, why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry and I'm here thriving. Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? Why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. What services do you offer? What is it you might be interested in? Okay. So there's hairstyle. I like the hairstyle that I got going on right now. I'm actually gonna increase, change my complexion a little bit. Freckles and moles. <laughs> Too many freckles. Too many moles. Can I not change my face? What is it you might be interested in? Hmm. I can't change my face shape. Maybe that comes later. We'll come back. But this is, but this is the place to change things. All right, so we need to go to Tom's and Squirrels, Pippin's Potions, and the Magic Neep. No tough guy scar. No, no, no. Yo, money just everywhere.
Where'd that page go? I just saw it. You guys saw that page flood? Oh, there it is. Mine. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to Yeah, I'm liking the game. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess, you're after something fresh. No. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Room of requirement needs. All right, now we're going to the scrolls. Can I fall in the water? Oh yeah, baby. We swimming, guys. I'm actually impressed that we could jump in the water. Very impressed. Aloha Mora. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda's student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. <laughs> the beard game is strong. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Oh. Cool. There's a secret champagne room up top. That's freaky. Fifty pounds. All right, now just the now it's just the potion shop.
Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. It's my Is first it day. Really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Everything that is free, please. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Natty? Love the music. So many books. I wish the game would give you more of these pages. They're very difficult to find. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Oh, a troll! Go <laughs> ahead. a dodge cool now we're dodging guys oh no no can't protego that are we weakening him at all keep acting we have to let him down no can't love you also that Ancient magic pillow? I was trying to beat him in his own game. I like it too much. So red you can't block. You can't protego red. You can protego. You can protego yellow. I could have protego that one. Look, he's muttering. Took him long enough. We need to make sure he's dead that way. Expelliarmus! Yeah, I think we're playing God of War again, guys. Ancient magic? 
Ka me. Me. Let's go. Let's go. Goodness. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. I will see what he wants. I'm repairing things, dude. We don't got time to help. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Asylum mask? What? <laughs> so easy to fix things. Fix the cat. Repair. We were just talking about you. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what Ooh. you did today. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. Need new drip. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. God, I am so poor. So poor. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. I sell even more rebellion-worthy items. Should you be inclined? Use my shop at your leisure. Cup of tea. The heck? Nope. Yo, there's a bag back there. Are we gonna straight up rob this guy? Well, let's rob him. 
We got a fedora, guys. I kind of don't want to wear things, but it actually helps. <laughs> Me, Bane. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't. I can't. Ugh. <laughs> uh, there's some sort of bag back there. Got it. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Zerona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. That guy was so shady. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Sound like a dude. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> What time, then? Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. All Can't right. Drink butterbeer forever. It's galleons. I guess it is a trans character. Yo, J.K. Rowling right now. Is Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Going crazy. What's your back? 
Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything, but it's perhaps best I do that later. Hey, Lyndon Kendall, thank you so much for your donation of five pounds. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Greatly appreciated. I want to go back to that alley where they, those I'm guys were. I'm glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. No! Wow. They won't let me explore. Vion, welcome back, sir. There were so many pages in Hogsmeade. What is my animal friend? Do I have one? Regroup with Professor Fig. Or I can duel. Let's regroup with Professor Fig. No good. I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. Hey, nine months. Thank you for your nine months rolling. Oh, this is just the uh, the resub train. Where is Subtrain? Off on another adventure, are we? Thank you so much. <laughs> Professor Fig. Oh, Lyndon, with the other five pounds. Will you spec just a tiny bit into dark ants? I don't I don't know what dark ants is. Lyndon? What you talking about, sir? What you talking about? I'll run in the halls if I want, Hurricane Harv. There ain't no rules in the wizarding world about running in the halls. <laughs> Peeves. Oh, dark arts. Yeah, why not? As soon as I get into the avocadabra, I'm gonna get right into it. From what I hear, you don't get you like you don't get sent to Azkaban or anything if you use one of the curse uh 
the forbidden curses. So we will Avagata Kadabra all over the place. I could have fast traveled here as well, apparently. Kind of want to go to the headmaster's office. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to? They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. Is this the... I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. wonder if this is the uh, Marauder's Map. Like, in its inception. Revelio. Protego. Lumos. Levioso. Repairer. That's locking is holding something that I want. I don't think I can do this now. Best to come back. Revelio. So Revelio, it kind of like highlights everything on the map. Let's see the... Is there a closer place to fast travel to? Oh, we're going to learn Incendio. Burn this baby to the ground. If only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Ah... The, the, the OG Luna Lovegood. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. 
I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do. Or at least, not often. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Should we go find the gobstones? I'm kind of curious what the hell a gobstone is. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Hey! Killing it! You behave yourself, sir. Akio. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. We don't have that power yet, but thank you for your donation, sir. Hey, <laughs> God's left nut. <laughs> thank you for your resubscription. <laughs> sir. I keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh my goodness. I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't keep a straight face saying your name. Oh. This is divinate this is divination, right? Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Akio. Grab that gobstone. I've always said that travel.
Oh no, it's a math puzzle. Oh dear. We're gonna be here a while. I didn't memorize. I did memorize that sheet. Is there a? So we have a, f a zero and a four, a zero and oh, so we have, so I need three, what was three? Uh, three is, where would I find that sheet that I just saw? Oh, three, there you go. Three is a snake. Triple headed snake. That one. Then two plus three is five, so I need a four. It was four. Four was the owl. Oh, that was it. Go! Oh dear. <laughs> More. Uh, guys, this is too much. Uh, 13 walrus. 13 plus walrus equals 18. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to freaking take a picture of this. I'll make your life easier. I'm going to take a picture of this. I wish they would just bring it up on the map. Th Walrus is zero. So, th so 14, 15, 16, 17, 8... So I need a four. Four is another owl. Owl. Linden with another 10 pound donation, sir. Uh, I'm excited to, I don't know. I, I just got into Harry Potter, so I'm not like, this is everything about the game. I'm really excited for. Oh, it's a five. I need a five. Which is this squirrel thing. Or crab. That, that thing. Um, salamander. Which is a six. Plus five. Is eleven. So I need a four. And a four is an owl. Oh, that's the owl. Oh, cool. Thank you so much for your 10 donation, 10, dollars, 10 pound donation, Linden. All right, more doors, more doors. How deep, how deep does it go? Ooh, a house scarf.
I'm down with the scarf. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Crab plus six. Crab is five, so it's eleven. Eleven, that's so why I need another six. Which is a salamander. No, that's that math is oh wait, no, it's on the side. Salamander. Salamander. I have no idea what that thing is. Seven. So I need a one, which is a unicorn. Yo, Quidditch uniform? Rebellion. Yo, guys. Easy. Easy claps. A little bit of brain power. That was actually a pretty good room to go to early on. Alright, now to find a stupid thing. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gulpstones. Accio! Accio! We can put away our cheat sheet. Six stones. We got we're halfway there. Never mind. Never mind. We cannot put away our cheat sheet. We still need it. It should really bring it up on the screen. So we can actually see it. But I digress. Spider. Which is eight. Nine and you have four. Four is an owl. Wait. Four. Then we have thirteen plus serpent. Serpent is a three, six. We need a five. Five is a spider thingy. There. Got a fedora. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gulpstones. Accio! Two more. Hey, it's the staircase. I guess we're in Gryffindor Tower. Fifteen plus two, seven, seventy six, six is salamander, salamander. Okay. Hydra plus squid. Nine plus three is twelve. I need a seven. Seven is another squid looking thing. This thing. 
Welcome in, Jonathan. Whoa, Jonathan, look at that logo. I think that's the first one I've ever seen. Shout out to you, sir. You got the flaming ninja going. Look at that thing. Let's go. Your channel membership. Need to go higher. Go in this one. You can't imagine how we can activated that fluid network. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gulpstones. Okay, where's this last gobstone? Akio! That's the last of Zenobia's gulpstones. I should go and see her. Parker, welcome in, sir. I'm doing good. How are you doing? Ten months, ten months as a Jonin. Happy ten months, sir. Two more months. <laughs> I could just put on all the gear. But I don't want to... I'm gonna figure out how to Thank you again Lyndon for your two pound donation sir you are on a roll Yeah seriously I, I don't want to look like a Saints Row character I kind of, I want to look like a wizard. Four hours is not bad. Like if I, if like you were like a, like not only is this game a good game, but like if you were like a Harry Potter fan. Damn, Lyndon, just I dropping those donations. I did, tracking down my gobstones. If you, um, if you're a Harry Potter fan, this game would just be like amazing. I like Harry Potter too. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well. <clears throat> May I have my gobstones back? <laughs> Imagine I get that. No. No. Sure. Of course. They are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Is that a quest? Incendio. Ah, 
I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. Usually it has You know where hard. to find me once you've finished. Cross wands? Seems crossed wands isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Oh, uh, so we have to do this quest anyways in order to actually get Incendio. Yeah, what's the old saying? Two birds, one stone? Yo, D less. D less, you worked on this game? What? Thank you so much for your 690 donation. Rebellion. We need Aloha Mora to unlock these things. Guys, we're gonna go to the Chamber of Secrets. Ooh, a cape. Oh, D Lass, look at that, look at that icon. Yo, D Lass with the second icon. Damn, bro. Nope. Oh, no. You don't look like a Hogwarts student anymore. Oh, that's how you get the, oh, that's how you change the handle. Got you, got you. Should we wear the Quidditch outfit? I'm liking this, I'm liking this. Can't do it. I can't do glasses. Take those off. Striking face. You'll make quite the portrait one day. I wouldn't want to be hung next to you. Where's Morning Myrtle? Oh, wait, Morning Myrtle wouldn't have existed at this time yet. Revelio. Morning Myrtle didn't appear until uh, the time of Palm Riddle. Those are chests. Oh, I can't. I can't get there. Is this the door to the room of requirements? No. No. Wrong. Wrong. The nice part that I got. <laughs> I'm in my long. I just noticed. I was... Sorry, my bad. My bad. I just noticed I was in my long johns. <laughs> the nice part of the fact that I got into Harry Potter so late in life is that I actually remember most of this stuff. <laughs> my bad, guys. This is like 100 years before the events of Harry Potter. I think. Revelio. He does it with such such pizzazz. Look at this. So much style. Glad 
Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Revelio. Reparo. Levioso. What are you up to now? Just you just gotta try everything. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I did take him down a peg. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. There's a big pool down the Levioso. There so. goes my way. Last them. Pity more people can't watch the duels. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. In fact, the second duel is ready when you are. And as a fully initiated member, you now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. Very good way to master spell combinations. Come and see me and I'll set it up. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Combinations. Hope to see you back here again. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Ones all set? Normal Why, difficulty. Yes, it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Yes, Natty. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Three versus two. Adapt round? Accio for purple shields. Gotcha. No! Ow. Accio. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Wow. 
Leviosa. I find. Oh dear. Come on. One down. There we go. There goes my way. Lumos. Is that all you've got? I can't heal in the middle of a fight, dude. What to do? I don't think you can heal in the middle of these. Uh, I tried tapping. Bravo! I gave it my all. It was close, though. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. I thought you were going to teach me spell combinations. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Accio. Nicely done. Let me also. It's not real a combination. Let me also. Oh. Oh, there's a combination. Next time, perhaps. One, two, three. Akium. Yeah, that's, that's a problem. Excellent fall. I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Assignment's all finished. Okay. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Let's head into go get our incendio. Sandio Probably could have fast traveled, but that's okay. Give me my fire. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Let's go. Let's go. Take out rep good work. Reparo. 
kind of wish you could assign more. We don't really need... Actually, we don't need Lumos that much either. We'll set it there for now. Level 7. Incendio. Getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. Yo. Roy Mustang, but with a wand? Let's go. Setting things ablaze is certainly cathartic, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Try and make use of this fast travel. Frost? Why you gotta do that, man? Why you gotta do that, Frost? I can't right now. Bruh. You're, you're digging old wounds. Old wounds. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Oh, we got a visitor. Zero about a cadabra. Ah, there you are. Zero has happened. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hackett. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your Zero skills. <laughs> that said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So. Shall we proceed? Fig, I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office, five minutes. Bruh, I just got to school. Jay is overbearing Asian parent expecting me to be a doctor. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, <laughs> our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor, we have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Don't leave room till your doctor. Where is Sebastian? Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Off on another adventure, are we? Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? I wonder if this was like a time before there was such like a divide between all the houses. Because from what I can tell so far, like every member of the houses are interacting pretty, pretty uh, comfortable with each other. Seems he's working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. It's quite the tale. Fig had this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fig has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. 
Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madame Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books, so do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. Yeah, that's true. The divide was really only between <laughs> everyone else other than Slytherin. <laughs> it was just Slytherin. Everyone else was cool with each other. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Good, John. How are you, sir? See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak. But those are expensive. And spells... Spells are free. Give it a try. Ooh. All right, we'll go down there first. We must remain unseen. How long is it last for? Is there a countdown for it? Or is this keeping your... I think I just have to keep my distance. Go! still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be alright. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Aloha Mora. That's how I always used to get in. But the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti-Aloha Mora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Where's that distraction, dude? Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? Uh... Yo, first try? First tries?
That wasn't so difficult after all. Now to find that book. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Using basic cast one detective to lure authority figures to a desired location. Oh. Ghost, don't let her see you. Yo, I want that book though. Should be in the clear. No need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Revelli is everyone else has given her. Why do you section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help her? No, we've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Works. What did I pull out of chest, though? Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. There's a straight up hand in that box. Damn it, Peeves. Sebastian Solo and his new little friend. Out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty. You'll get caught. Peeves, don't you. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> we better be oh, quick. Blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. <laughs> repair -o. I don't remember the, res the library being this big in the game or being this difficult to get to the restricted section. <laughs> of course, traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this book. That's it. Or a portal. <laughs> Ah! 
That's a big chest. Revelio. Where might this lead? The Athenium? Oh, the antechamber. <laughs> Yo, guys, I, I can I can read. I can read. It's, it's, it's been a long day, okay? The antechamber. <laughs> the Athenium. <laughs> the antechamber. Revelio. Not surprising. Guards at the ready. Right kick. Yo, we just thunderclap those guys so hard. Oh my god! Dude, where the heck did you come from? We just got ganked in the back. Woo! Let's go. This fool just stripped through an axe at me. Oh my god. Get that chest. Let me also repair one. Nope. It's kind of trippy to look at. Oh. Risky. Risky. This must be the way forward, but to where? I want to use fire on the armor. about me bro how oh uh, what gear slots are full oh my god that that's a thing Should have sold gear. Kind of deconstruct gear. Oh yeah, I can't destroy. We need to sell stuff.
What's this lock? Oh, I can't equip it yet. It's locked out. Quidditch gloves, let's go. Levioso, incendio. Oh, it's, I got to Wow. I got to be super close. Potato, stupid boy. Levioso. Accio. C -c Combos. Oh my god. Dead guys, dead. Protego. Incendio. Stupid fight. Levioso. Accio. More? Shidori! Dude, I so tap triangle. Go away. Akio. Stupid one. Let me know. Akio. Let me know. Yeah, you have to be like up close and personal to get that fire off. It is a book after all. That was first try, we didn't die. Defensive. Dunk. Dip. Dip your head in there. Just get in there. Face first. That tiny Tim. Damn allergies getting to that kid. <laughs> Too much greenery. <laughs> I feel his pain. Wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the 
Beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. She has a mischievous look on her face. She's about to do bad stuff. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Loyalty! Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> Loyalty. I kind of want to go back to Hogsmeade. Looks like we're just... Oh. Never mind. Take a look at the night sky. All right, Figgy, we back. Tombs and tribulations. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. 
In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Four out of four main quests. dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones also the training dummy is still available <laughs> meet me in lower hogsfield as soon as possible i would like to talk to you about rookwood and harlow and it might be best to do so outside of the castle that's nice at least she didn't send a howler <laughs> Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. What do we do, guys? Duel? Let's duel. It's time to do, 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 do. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross ones ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Natty. Then let's get started. How many? We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Four. My God. My God. 
Oh, fire spells. Do I have fire equipped? Oh my god. Come on. Can bring her. Oh my god. Get him! Oh my god. Gotta keep an eye on. Oh, we got more. All right, all right, okay. Okay, we'll do this again. Oh, they made a crop's breakfast out of you that round. Care to try again? A <laughs> crop's. No, I don't think so. Not right now. Understandable, but don't take too long. We'll be waiting. Okay, we're, we're gonna equip our, we're gonna equip better gear before we try this. Unfortunately, I'm gonna look awful, but at least we will be protected. We got better gear. I can't do that one. Okay. I just, I think I just have to do a better job of keeping track of everyone. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of Cross Wands ready? Look who's back. Ready to redeem yourself? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. You gotta do a combination of dodging and moving around and then tap and triangle. Not what I wanted. Dude. Got it, guys. We got it. Some big hits that round. First try. What a victory! You've won the tournament. I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize. And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. 
It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. What'd I get? Yes. Ooh. Leveled up, leveled up. handle. Gonna take this off. Take the hat off. Okay, I can get the gloves. The gloves are too intrusive. Oh! I can wear this level 8 hat. Okay. Why not? Oh, oh! Look, I can I can equip it, but not have it as. A p oh, I see. So I can do this, and then change go change appearance, and then I can make it look. I can have the stats, but without the look. There you go. That's how you do it, guys. So you can equip your best stuff, and not have it show. So I will equip the hat, but not have it show. Yeah. Good to go. Yeah, you guys want me to keep the hat? Okay, 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 fine. We'll make the hat appear. Just for you guys. Looks like we're about to get our Alice in Wonderland on right now. Better, better. Like a sir. So now we're going to with the map. What are you up to now? Anything I want, lady. Oh, we get Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus. Take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. It beat Voldemort. 
Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. So, is the shield system works on like a colored system? So, I don't really like the fire one just because of its limited range. So, I'm wondering if the Expelliarmus one will work on the fire shields as well. Lyndon, thank you for your f another five pounds, sir. Expelliarmus. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. His wand didn't fly out of his hand like it's supposed to. Maybe it did. Got it. How nice to see you, my young friend. Oh, we didn't. Oh, we didn't practice. Uh, let's go to herbology. Yo, Mandrake time? Mandrakes? Is she growing Pungus Onion again? Morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Garlic. Oh, here, you'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, um uh, a little treat for your auntie. We'll check a look at those gear unlocks oh, the lady in London. Hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bone. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the malignant yes! known as the mandrake root. Prepare your ears. You. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Pair your ears. Like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. She looks like she's my right, age. Then. Off you go. <laughs> Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get... Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knotgrass. 
Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I'll say. Nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal, so remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers fancy. I feel like we're getting like the secret make it a special vital treat ingredient here. in the Wigan Weld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Plant some dittany. Ten minutes. But I want it now. Well done. Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wigan Weld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. It's okay. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. If I lose a finger, I'll just get some Skelligro. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it. And they'll do the rest. How do I toss a cabbage? Oh. Look at that. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Just because those cabbages will chomp on a dummy doesn't mean they do the same on, say, a goblin. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable <laughs> if necessary. Dogweed and death cap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Oh, all more cabbages. I should throw some cabbages at this guy, see what happens. Rebellion. I honestly didn't even see that. It was just on a whim. Okay, well, I don't... Man, when we get Aloha Mora, this game is just going to open up huge. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. 
and good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. You like my well, hat, Martin? I suppose <laughs> that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. I almost took it off, but chat made me keep it. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my... I want to finish this. I have to go back to the dual academy. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Akio, Expelliarmus. Oh, come on. You'll get it. Okay, dude, I gotta wait for my thing to charge. Nicely done. What next? Dude. Next time, perhaps. Let me know. Incendio. Good one. Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. I'll stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Even though you won the tournament already, I'm glad to see you haven't stopped training. Stay sharp, my friend. Yeah, I think we were still on debuff from the previous time we used attack. Especially, uh, Incendio has a... Incendio. Not Incendio. Accio. Oh. Yeah, there was like a debuff time. All right. Oh, well, we haven't done potions yet. All right. This is, uh, I think the last thing we're going to do with this stream is do potions. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Snape Potions Master Shouldn't there be orders or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade? Revelio! The Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Who this guy? Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. 
You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Raven. I will, Linda. Thank you so much Before for your donation. Before this class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Yo, making moonshine. Moonshine. <laughs> That's not green. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors... Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fooper Feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Are we going to be bad guys? Yeah. I'll get you the Fooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Whoop feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Keep your potion station organized and Morgan and Burks. should not be that color, Miss McDowell. Here's the flopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. Thirty seconds. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? He's gonna blow Wait, us up. It's not supposed to. <laughs> Get it. Get it. Oh. Dragon dog. What happened? Fart bomb. <laughs> well done, Garrett. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, 
Again. Damn it. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Oh dear. It wasn't me. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley <laughs> brew chaos. Whoops! I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. All right, guys, oh, we're out. My robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of term. Note to self, do not help a Weasley. I've... All right. Ravello pages. A lot of things. I got some more challenges here. Oh, cool. We got a new shirt, new glasses, some gloves, legendary gear attire, field pages. Back. Quest. Map. It's all the way down there. Oh, dang, dude. We have to leave Hogwarts and walk all the way down there to this little Shire area on Lower Hogs Field. Interesting. Okay. I think there was another adventure, well. are we? Click to claim. I thought I already claimed them. I think I got them, didn't I? No, they already gave it to me. Yeah, I already got the scarf. Oh, wait. Never mind. You are correct. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you for the help. We'll take a look at my gear. I don't know why I say click to clear because I, I already had them. I have no idea. Owls must 
Oh, and maybe I, maybe I need them to appear first. Hold up. I was too early. Where's the legendary gear? Where'd it go? It's not here. I don't understand. It says that I got the legendary cloak. But they're not here. Weird. Thank you again, Lyndon. I don't know. It, it's, I claimed it, but they're not appearing. That's weird. In my inventory. Harry, you put your name in the Goblet of Fire! <laughs> <laughs> the stream is down. The stream is down. It's okay, guys. We're back. We're back. It's okay. Internet just died for half a second. <laughs> it, it, we, we, it died for half a second, okay? Just, just a second. No one freak out. Stop freaking out! People, stop freaking out! Okay, maybe if we destroy some stuff. Aha! No, that's not it. Destroy? Yeah, I have no idea how to get... Like, where did we get those outfits that we that were trying that we uh, supposedly got? Oh, the cosmetics. Oh. So they're not actually. Oh, so I can just make myself look like it. One second. There it is, yeah. The purely cosmetic. Ah. Uh, so they're not actually, they're just skins, basically. Hey! Yo, that looks good. Yo, guys, we look so high level right now. That's kind of Russian. Hey, hey. Look at that. As, as bad as it is, that looks real cool. Yo. Actually, not <laughs> Yo, fashion show? <laughs> yeah. It actually looks pretty good. Not bad. Not bad, guys. Not bad. 
Hey, 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 hey. All right, sorry for that uh, brief, uh, the brief malfunction there on the stream. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this stream. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to grab dinner. Might fire up the stream again a little bit later tonight if I'm up for it. Thank you guys for dropping by. Thank you for all your uh, help as well as donations. Linden, you are the uh, Linden. Thank you so much for all your donations. You were the real MVP. Uh, so may or may not be back tonight with more if I can find time. But if not, we will see you guys next time for episode three. All right. Bye-bye.